there everyone welcome back to my channel it has been a very long time since I've done a favorites video but this one is going to be for October I am super excited about this one because October is kind of like my fun month I mean it's Halloween season you just you're doing all these fun stuff bright colors and yeah it's just uh, it's just a lot of fun for me so let's just get right into this video I don't even know where to start, it's been so long, but I feel like I have a lot of favorites for this video, so we'll just see how it works. For the first part of my favorites, I have a little section for planner stuff, so I'm going to start with that first. So, uh, let me see. The first thing that I have is this art tote bag, and I got this from Michaels, and I got it really cheap using a coupon. It was actually in the art section with, um, with all the specialty pens and pencils for... Uh, more like drawing art students so I love this top bag because I like to plan all the time and then I like to plan outside of my room so then I use this to carry all the stuff that I usually use to plan and then I can just put my stuff in here and then go to the living room and then use it there or go to the dining room and then use it there and it's so convenient I love it there's enough space for my planner I just keep basically the stuff that I usually use for either decorating or just updating my planner. So for instance, I have um, my travel organizer. So I usually use this when I'm traveling, but when I'm not traveling, I'm at home, I just put it in here. So then if I need it, I can just pull it out. Here I have this, um, this little folder for my functional stickers. I labeled it functional. I don't know if you can see that, but I put that in there too because I'm always updating with functional stickers. I have my... What do they call these? Uh, a trimmer. That's what it is. I have a trimmer in here because I usually like to cut my washi tapes in half. So on the sides here I have like my masking stickers and then I have uh, my little glue, not glue stick, um, tape stick. And then I have white out in here, little post-it notes. So my other planner October favorites would be printable stickers. Now I don't know if a lot of you guys um, know on Etsy there are a lot of people who sell stickers but then there's also a lot of people who sell printable stickers. So you can buy them, download the file that they have once you buy it and then you can print it out yourself. I wanted to do that because one, I hate waiting for my online orders. Like, I'll wait if I really want it, but, you know, it's just killer a lot of the times, and I'm really hoping to get the stickers kind of now-ish. And plus, it's, you know, it's cheaper. The printable stickers most of the time are a lot cheaper than actual stickers. So I think that's nice, and I have been printing out a whole bunch of stickers this month. Uh, I have... So I have a few printable stickers here. I actually have these ones. These are for November. And it was one full sheet, but what I did was cut them down and then I put it in my functional folder that was in my top bag I just showed you. I love it. It's so nice. They print out really nicely. This theme is to match the Erin Condren Life Planner in the vertical. And then it just comes with all these different kinds of stickers. So some people will have like sets, like this one. This one was a set. It was only $6, but you got three sheets and it had all this stuff in it. And then... Yeah, like I said, I just printed it out and then um, cut them to size. It's just so addicting because I'm just wanting to print out so much more. So the next thing I have are, are my Statler pens. And right now, I'm keeping my Statler pens in my travel organizer. So I have them, they all fit in here. Especially relating to the Halloween theme of October, I have these Halloween washi tape, which were for whatever reason the hardest thing to find. I went to so many different Michaels to try and find some Halloween washi tape and it took me forever and I was just gonna cry because I really wanted some but I did find them and I got the I got the skinnier ones and these worked so well for the month. I used them in my Erin Condren Life Planner, I used them in my Kiki K. I have been using them just for other papers that I just felt like decorating. These are amazing. I'll just quickly show you this one has uh, this is the Boo washi tape, it's just orange and black, which I really like. This is another orange and black, and it's just dots, which I really like, because maybe, maybe I can use this for later on. Um, that's not October. This one I really liked were the spider webs, which is kind of ironic, because I hate spiders and spider webs all in general. But these look really cute, you know, drawing-wise. And then I have these black ones, which I know I could probably use in other months or 
other parts of my calendar and it's just a nice little kind of zigzag design so the next the last planner favorite that I have is my Kiki K I really wished I was able to show this when I first had got it in a favorite but since I didn't do a favorite I didn't show it but I definitely wanted to show this as a favorite I use it as a wallet and then I also you know use it for the function that I was using for this month was to keep track of things for the month of October so I wanted this to focus specifically on things for October and I loved it and what I really loved about it especially was that I decorated it like crazy with the Halloween theme so I got scrapbook paper I used the Halloween washi tape and the stickers and I just went all out and decorated it so this is what it looks like in the front it has um, my cards and money in here I have some paper clips that I um, DIY did a video on this on like a flip through of this in a different video which I'll have a link down below and then, yeah, this was just a lot of fun to decorate and make. I was just in a crazy decorating mood and then just went all out. And I loved how it turned out. And I loved how I was using it throughout the month. So I'm going to do the same thing maybe for November, but for sure in December. Before my music favorites, I have two songs that I have been completely obsessed with. It is, they're so great. I put them on repeat all the time. The first song is On My Mind by Ellie Golding. I don't know if you've heard it. I'm pretty sure you guys heard it on other videos, you know, that have their intros with very cutesy songs. On My Mind is such a good song by Ellie Goulding. I just saw it on YouTube and, it, and I was just like, oh, it's new. So I'll watch it. And then when I watched it, heard it, it was so good. I love it. It's just the lyrics are great. The video was actually interesting. But the other, other, other favorite song that I really, really like and... I'm gonna buy the album pretty soon because I love them this much. It's Pentatonix. And my favorite song from their new album is um, Can't Sleep Love. Now, I do believe Can't Sleep Love is their own song. Like, that's their song. And it is so, so good. I will have both of the links to, like, their music videos down below. I don't know if that's allowed, but I'll see if I can. Can't Sleep Love is just it's adorable it's cute it sounds great the video is amazing and pentatonix is just great in general so I just I love pentatonix and I love this new song I love the songs on their album because I heard it on Amazon but I didn't have a chance to go buy it so I'm gonna do that um, probably right after this because I love that song but yeah it is just they're just good songs I would play them but I know that there's like copyright stuff with music or whatever and I don't know the exact rules for that just yet so I'm not gonna play the songs but if I could I'd even sing it for you but I can't sing so I'm not gonna do that to you so that's okay on to my movie favorite because I do have a movie favorite for this month and it is probably the most obvious movie yep it's Nightmare Before Christmas. This movie is not only my monthly favorite, it is my yearly life favorite movie. I don't know what it is about the Nightmare Before Christmas, but I love the movie. I watched it when I was a kid. I actually used to be scared of this movie as a kid. love the songs in this movie. I know all of them by heart. I probably know all the scripts words by heart and then I also love Tim Burton in general like him as a director I love all his different movies this is still my favorite out of all of them but I am in love with all of his other movies that he's ever done this is my favorite movie this is my favorite movie and so not only do I have a movie favorite but I also had a TV favorite yes I know I shouldn't be watching TV but it's whatever Supernatural Supernatural. I've been watching obsessively. I'm already on season 8. I think I just started season 8 and I was on season 5, I swear, about two weeks ago. And I've been watching it like crazy. The seasons are so good. I know they're on season 10 right now and I'm just watching them online. Um, and it is just so good. I cannot believe I was missing out so much on that show because I used to watch it before but then I stopped because I knew my addiction was a problem and then I kind of just picked it back up and now I'm just watching it like crazy. Next category of favorites are lifestyle favorites. I don't even know why I didn't bring this one up in the first part of the video but I love the white chalk... I can never... okay. I can never say this without fumbling, but it's the white chocolate pumpkin mocha 
Right now, I know a lot of people are on their pumpkin spice lattes, but this pumpkin drink is a white chocolate mocha. I love mochas, and this white chocolate pumpkin mocha is just, it is just amazing. It is amazing. Oh, I did buy one for the video, and I almost forgot to show it for the video, but it's so good. It's so creamy, and it's not too much of a pumpkin taste, but you can still taste the Oh, this is so good. This last part is the last part of the favorites, and then the last part of the lifestyle favorites is, again, Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, I know I talked about the movie, but this is different. I said I love The Nightmare Before Christmas, and I also have a crazy obsession with The Nightmare Before Christmas. So I have a fair collection of a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. And it made it even better for October for me to have all this stuff and just flash it around because it's October and it's a Halloween month. And Nightmare Before Christmas is just perfect for Halloween. I have been using this stuff basically every single day. These I've had for a few years now are my Nightmare Before Christmas headphones. And I love these headphones. They are so cool. I always wanted a pair of headphones. And I was just going to get like some cheap ones. But these ones were $30 at Hot Topic. It has Jack on the side. And I love the design. Like the same as his outfit. And then it's, you know, it's an iHome headphone. I know it's not Beats or anything, but... I love these because it has Nightmare Before Christmas on it. Uh, the next Nightmare Before Christmas item that I do have is my all-time favorite. It is. Actually, it's not my all-time favorite. It's like my second to all-time favorite. So, But it is my Nightmare Before Christmas throw blankie. I love this blankie. It lays on my bed. Uh, I'll try and show you. I'll try and show you the whole thing. This is what it looks I don't know if you can see it, but this is what it looks like. I love it. It has a nice, chill... Um, black white and gray theme going and it has jack skeleton on the front and the best part is that it is soft it is so soft and i use this all the time like if i'm off work and i'm just or i just come home and i'm super tired and i just flop on my bed i just pull this over me and it just it's better than getting in into my bed because it's just so comfy and i love it i use this in other months obviously but you know I just wanted to show it because it's October and it's Nightmare Before Christmas and why not because I love this blanket here is my last item this is my Nightmare Before Christmas backpack I love it so much I, I love backpacks I hardly you ever hardly see me with a purse maybe a messenger bag but never a purse I mean it's not like I don't like purses I just don't like rocking them as much as I would a backpack I feel sexy in a backpack. It has a whole bunch of different um, of his heads and expressions on it. And this is the backpack that you could have gotten from, from Hot Topic. That was my store that I, I still like shopping at the store, but I used to shop there like all the time back in the day. This has a lot of space. I'm always throwing my Erin Condren planner in here, and I'm always able to um, throw a whole bunch of stuff in there, but it doesn't get too filled up. I always have enough room. And it also has a hoodie. It has a hoodie on the part where you put um, put your shoulders in. I'll even show you. Oh, yeah. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. And it has Jack's. Basically, it's like Jack's head on it. And it is so cool. I love this thing. Like, And it, and it can just look so fashionable when it's just like this. Doesn't it look cute? It's so cute. I know. This is my... My go-to backpack for all for all days. So that was all for my favorites. This is probably going to be the most weirdest, unorganized, not as cool video ever. But I am actually super happy about this video because, one, I haven't done a video in kind of a while. And number two, I haven't done favorites in a while. And number three, it is October. I don't know what it is about October. It's just Fun. Don't forget to leave a comment down below what your favorites were for this month or what you like or don't like about October or anything like that and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Alright. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye!